Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Hopefully you're doing good and I am so sorry for the long delay in getting this video out. I've been super busy and you know I just have been dealing with license issues with JetBrains, the people who make Rider and all this stuff. So I finally got that all figured out so I'm back to creating some of these videos. Today we are going to be seeing how you can set a manual location for your callout using coordinates from GTA or 5M more specifically. Um, so obviously if you've not done this before, I highly recommend checking out the last videos in our series. I will most likely be continuing the series after the next episode after 1.2 for 5PD comes out. Um, now I haven't confirmed that's when the next video is, uh, don't quote me on that please. It will be out at some point. I've been planning a lot of new videos coming very soon. I know this was very requested and I am sorry for the delay, but today we're going to be going how we can change this line here. It's literally one line we're going to be changing in this video, but I'm going to explain how you get those coordinates and how you actually put them in the code. So the first thing we're going to have to actually do is jump into 5M or 5PD, whatever. Well, you want 5 on the server, but we're going to hop into 5M and inside of here, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Lambo menu or simple trainer menu or one of those because that's what we're going to use to get our coordinates. In this case, uh, most people use V menu as well. Um, I know it has like a permanent uh, coordinate thing. That is actually a really good thing to have. Um, but overall, what you're going to do is you're going to go open it up and go into world. And then inside this world, you're going to go into locations and then click, click show coordinates. And then at the top of the screen, you see there your coordinates. So that's what you're going to have to do to get it. Now, obviously they go away. So you want to keep this up and make sure you note those coordinates on the side while you start writing them down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a actually nice place to go and we'll just like teleport. I don't know. We'll teleport into the city a little bit and we'll find a place where we want our call out to spawn. Um, in this case, I believe it was a mugging call out. So I guess we can do it right here on Vinewood Boulevard just so we know we got this correct and we got it in the right place. So we're going to stand over here and what we're going to do is we're going to just make this part and part on the screen. Uh, we're just going to, for a second here, write it just right here. Um, you can just comment it out by doing slash slash. That's a way to comment it out if you want. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to show a coordinate. So our x coordinate is 45. Four five point. Obviously, I'm gonna have to go back in and click it. Two eight three four. Two eight three four. Then we're gonna make another coordinate, and that's our x. And then this is gonna be our y. And then we're gonna have a z coordinate. Obviously, we'll get rid of this in a moment. We're just keeping it here. So two six eight point four one one. Two six eight point four one one. And then we're gonna get our z coordinate, and that is gonna be the bottom one. One oh nine point four nine six. So one oh nine point four nine six. There we go. So we got our coordinates of where our callout will spawn. And obviously, I'm just going to get out of the road here so I don't get hit in the background. All right. So now that we got our coordinates here, this is where we're actually going to change the code for this um, location for the callout. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of our previous one, which spawned in random places throughout the map. Obviously, you can set multiple locations, and I'll go over that in a separate video. But for this one, we're just going to do our default. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to remove this random call here because we're no longer getting a random location. And we're just going to do the same type of base. So we're going to do int info. And then we are going to do, uh, obviously put your parentheses in here, or um, com whatever these things are called, um, and type new vector 3. And you can press tab to auto-complete that in. Now it's going to tell you when it pops up here what you actually need to enter, but it's actually just your x, y, and z values, obviously. Um, don't alt tab out or that will break uh so you got your x value your y value and your z target uh value but actually don't put the quotation marks i completely forgot you don't need those and you're just going to write these values in so it's going to be 45.2834 is your x your y value is 268.411 and your z value is 109.496 uh there we go now you may be noticing why is it erring well, we actually have to add an F to the end of every single one of these for it to be valid. So make sure you keep that in mind uh, when you're writing these. It's always with an F at the end. Um, I won't go into why that is in this video um, because I'm going to go over a full like scripting video coming up. I'm just going to tell you how to do it in this video. And obviously, you can go down into the description below and click on the GitHub link and um, it goes through everything. So make sure to look at that and look at the documentation if you're not sure what you're doing. Uh, it helps a lot more than me just doing a video on it. So then we can get rid of our little common out here and we got that so we got our int info it's going to spawn at the new vector on those coordinates all right why don't we test it well you're going to build it the exact same way you built in the previous builds is just build build solution there we go we have built the solution what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into our folder here on explorer 
uh, I'll it open up in another tab. Go in to our releases um, or whatever you wherever your releases are. Mine's in here, and I'm gonna take this DLL and throw it in our 5M server. So I'll be right back while I throw it in our 5M server, and we'll test it out. All right, so I've gone ahead and installed the callout and reloaded and gone on duty. You can press Z to open up your debug menu as long as you're an admin. If you don't have yourself set up as an admin, the video is linked down in the description below on how you can get that set up. Go into your debug menu, go to force callouts, and I'm going to force the mugging test. And we're just going to press yes, and you can see it spawned right at the coordinates where we told it to spawn. And I'm going to let them go run and fight. But hopefully this did teach you how you can spawn uh, these types of things at these coordinates. Um, I have a lot of cool scripting and 5PD coding videos coming very soon out. I wanted to keep this a little bit short um, just to explain like the basic of how to spawn it at one location. Our next video will probably go over how to spawn it at multiple different locations or a random location of those locations or spawn stuff within the plugin or within the callout itself at different locations. Lots of cool stuff coming soon. Anyway, if you don't know how to export or get this set up at all, watch our previous videos. And other than that, thank you so much for tuning in today. Hopefully this taught you how to do this and I do apologize again for the long delay but lots of cool videos coming soon can't wait to share them with you i'll see you tomorrow